China develops hybrid-powered tank. China has begun testing a new hybrid-powered tank platform, integrating diesel and electric propulsion to support advanced battlefield systems and high-altitude operations, according to open-source reports. The new combat vehicle combines a traditional diesel engine with electric motors and onboard batteries. The dual power setup allows for reduced acoustic signature, rapid torque delivery, and support for energy-intensive systems such as laser defenses and electronic warfare modules. Chinese defense observers on Weibo suggested that the vehicle may serve as a testbed for an extended-range electric variant of the Type 99A main battle tank. Others noted that the new platform may be specifically optimized for high-altitude combat, where internal combustion engines typically lose efficiency due to thin air. By leveraging hybrid propulsion, the system is expected to perform more effectively in environments like the Himalayan region, where China has faced growing strategic competition. Reduced noise during maneuvers and instantaneous acceleration from the electric drive also provide tactical advantages in short engagements or ambush scenarios. The vehicle reportedly supports modular upgrades and future systems integration. The added electrical output can power active protection systems, advanced sensors, and directed energy weapons capabilities that would push it beyond current generation armor configurations. In an unofficial statement circulated among military-focused Chinese social media accounts, a defense commentator remarked, From the Himalayas to the Pacific, our tank will forge a path towards victory. While this rhetoric remains unverified, it reflects Beijing's ambition to incorporate civilian automotive advancements, particularly in electric drivetrains and battery efficiency, into frontline combat platforms. China's auto industry, already a global leader in electric vehicles, is seen as a critical driver in developing next-generation military mobility. The adaptation of high-energy storage and thermal management technologies from commercial sectors into tracked combat vehicles may provide the People's Liberation Army with new operational flexibility in regions where logistics and engine performance have historically been constrained.